Hey, YouTube bourbon fans, it's Deck Night on the Rock. Hey, hey, Dorcas. What? Ugh. I mean, come on. It's called Deck Night, not day, night. That way, I can do what I want to do during the day. So, what are you doing? Making a video. Well, Deck Day on the Rocks. We're going to show you what we've got for the past two or three months and what bottles we've put down in just a second. You know, it's called daytime. That way I can do and you can do. We have chores to do. We're not doing a video until later. But now that you're doing a video, what are we doing? Um, we're going to get the bottles that we bought and the stuff we've put down over time and um, do that. All right. Well, that means you're working later. I know. That's why I'm doing it now. So let's go get these bottles and get this video going. All right, Deck Night fans, we're back finally with all these bottles right here, and it's been a while. Uh, you would say that, damn, y'all did a bottle, a lot of shit, but it's been over a few months. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Now, Amy might say, what the fuck? But it's been a while. It's been a while, and we didn't pay for all these. Some of these were gifts, so um, or cost reduced reduced prices. So anyway, before we get started in that, we're having a little sip to go along with it during our daytime deck night on the rocks. And you know, when we started this, the deck night on the rocks had a reason for the name because it was always a. Some of you may not know because it's been a while since we said what it was. But it was like before we'd be out or somewhere, we'd be in our business, and I'd look at her and I'd be like, deck night? And she'd be like, deck night. That meant we are going to come home and have a drink on the deck. So that's where the name came from. Obviously, I didn't think it through when I made the name for the channel because we aren't always videoing at night. <laughs> so, deck day. All right. I like it at night. I agree, but we do have a lot of stuff to do. And Lexi's got a cheer tonight, so we're just really just knocking it out to get it out i gotta work this weekend so this is really the only time we have to get it in so we want to make sure we get it in for yeah. you guys that's what we're drinking right now we just put it down emptied her out knob creek nine year i can't see knob creek nine year you gotta thank our friend brent who's not brent butcher but the other brent that i work with for bringing this to amy's 29th birthday party and letting us keep it and we finished it off just now 29 my butt so that's what we're drinking. It's part of the put down. First one out of the way. Knob Creek Nine Year. Drinking it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Go Knob right Creek is the best Jim Beam product there is. I think. I thought you hated Jim Beam all around. I just hate Jim Beam White Label. I like Booker's. I like Basil Hayden. I like uh, Knob Creek. It's good stuff. All right. All right. So all right. just so grab one. You want me to start? Grab and go. All right. Whiskey Rove Series 1920 Old Forester. Put it down. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy that bottle. It um, sh there's already another one on the bar, so there will be no having to worry about replace it. And it's uh, when Did we bought that in this month, or we just let's put it just down? put it down since the oh, last okay. one. For a little while, it kind of was like scarce on the shelf with 1910, but now it's up all the time. So don't I didn't have to worry think about that. That was one. gonna last very long. All right. All right. Next, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, one of your favorites. This is the Camp Nelson F. It's uh, my favorite. It's my every day. If I, we're not trying something or doing something done for the channel, this is what I'm drinking every day. And I'm pretty sure we have three bottles of it. Yeah, we do. Because for a while, it was definitely hard to find. It was not in Knoxville. We only found it in Alabama one time, and now it, it's it's not always on the shelf. And I think they just pushed out a lot because we got the Camp Nelsons and the Tyrones, um, which is the workhouses that they're warehoused in. So we've got those recently, so I want to make sure I have them just in case they stop showing up on the shelf because they tend to push bottles at certain times of the year. Yeah. All right, next. Next. Russell's Reserve 10-Year. This is a great bottle. Another one of Homer's favorites. Another wild turkey product. It's a great bottle to 10 years, about $39. This is hard to beat for $39. bucks. 10 year bourbon, $39. Good and stuff. you drink that on a... Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't say it's as regular as the the wild. I did for a while, yeah. but I think Kentucky Spirit has taken over. I would love to always have one of these. It's thirty nine dollars and easy to get. So, there actually do not have one on the bar right now, but we do have a single barrel. So, 
All right, next as well, Wilderness no. Trail. Um, this this is, is now you can get. This is anywhere. the eight year. So no, this oh, is no, that one's done. I don't think they even have it anymore. And you just went to the distillery. We, yeah, I just went, but you and I went and drove up there and got this one. Yeah, no, that's when. Um, it's been a while since we got this. Was, that's when it wasn't out at all. No, Wilderness Trail was around. But there wasn't that much on the shelf, and you couldn't get the eight year anywhere but at the the um, distillery. Distillery, and then it showed up at Justin's last time we were there. But it's pretty well gone. They've gone up to uh, the, the Wilderness Trail was bought out by Campari, who owns Wild Turkey, and definitely I could tell a difference from the last time we were there to this time. They're expanding. They're they're doing a lot of construction. They're doing uh, a, a tasting room because remember we did it in the lobby. So doing a tasting room, and they're doing more uh, fermenters. And uh, so they're definitely stepping up production, and it's really good stuff. I really like wilderness we do trail. Like wilderness. So if you haven't had a wilderness trail, you should. You should. And um, I would suggest the black label, the silver label, the yellow label is the weeded version, and I'm not a big fan. But that's because I'm not a big fan of weeded stuff. All right, next one, another wild turkey product. This is a rare breed of rye. It so, tastes like apple. I love this. This is really good. One of the best rides we've had, but then again, I'm pretty sure that wild turkey, I love everything they do. Especially rare breed. Mm -hmm. Rare breed, non-chill filtered rye. Can't go wrong with that name, can you? Nope. At least for us. All right. We got a little fella here. It's an Angel's Envy facing the wrong way. Angel's Envy bottle we got from doing a, it was a gift. It was a tasting. From the tastings we did. Dinner and tasting. And uh, so we just knocked that sucker out because he's just a little fella. And we did it, I think we drank it on one of our live streams. And Angel's Envy is a pretty good product. Yeah, I like it. I like the the, the distillery is really cool. The store is really cool. Get the big wings on the back. It was a good time at the place, and I enjoy the bourbon. So it's finished. They're, all their bourbon's finished, though, so it's not a standard straight Kentucky. It's a finished. It says Kentucky straight bourbon, but it's finished in port wine barrels. So some people will say it's not bourbon anymore because they finished it, but whatever. I'm not getting into that argument. Next, Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. So I always want to say I don't like this, but every time I drink it, I like it. Yeah, and we chose that over the uh, ten-year uh, Russell's Reserve. Tag that right here, and because uh, we both thought we'd like the Russell's Reserve, and ended up blindly choosing you rare over the Russell's. Yeah, which is very disappointing to me. I didn't want to like it. I didn't. I didn't want it to beat Russell's Reserve. Uh, All right, next and last put down is the Smoke Wagon Uncut and Unfiltered. This was one of the very first bottles we ever bought. It looks, this is a hard one to get down because it's so potent. It's strong. It's, it doesn't surprise me after getting to know Smoke Wagon Aaron. Like when I say that, it's like, I don't know him. I've never met him. He doesn't know who the hell I am. But um, I do talk to him about how small his cars are on Instagram. And if you don't follow him on Instagram, you should. Smoke Wagon Aaron. He is cool as shit. Uh, shoots guns, drinks bourbon, and drives a lot of cool cars. One of my favorite bottles, though. Yeah. Not the, the um... embossment, the inlaid uh, waxed logo yeah i think his bottles and this smoke wagon if you haven't heard of smoke wagon they do a seasonal bottle also oh they, well it's this small batch it's not seasonal but he changes the bottles yeah. he changed so it's literally a seasonal bottle not the juice yeah he because just this is a small the batch stuff so he does halloween he does they glow in the dark it's a lot of fun yeah he's cool and then what he does with this company is awesome so if you haven't tried smoke wagon you should maybe not the uncut and unfiltered unless you like one. high proof with some potency because that's a tough sucker but their other stuff is really good too all right, moving on to the what we got. All right, so. Um, so we'll do, because I got two of them. It's, why do you have two of them? It's the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye from North Shore Wine and Spirit Store Pick. I have two of them because this is one of the best bottles of whiskey, because this Tennessee whiskey, not bourbon. It's actually, it's not Tennessee whiskey. It is Tennessee whiskey. It's Tennessee rye whiskey, so it's definitely not bourbon um, that I've ever had. And it's a store pick, and once they're gone, they're gone, so I got two. And they were only $79 when I've seen it up to 300 bucks. Oh, yeah, this one's a popular going on. So I got this sucker. It's 135.5 proof. It's a really good. I love the taste, and it's smooth for being that high proof. It doesn't drink as powerful as it is. So it's dangerous. It's a dangerous bottle. Not one to put with some Coke. Well, it's not one to put with four or five drinks, or there might be a lot of alcohol drunkenisms. Nothing wrong with that. All right, next one, Old Granddad 114. Um, I like it. She doesn't. It's a good bottle. 
I bought this one to uh, give away because a lot of people say they can't find it and it's always on our shelves. So uh, we have one and uh, this is a giveaway option for uh, one of our live streams. So I like doing uh, viewer's choice. So we pick four or five bottles and let people choose. And this one wasn't chose last time. So we'll grade that one 14. Another Jim Beam product that I like. All right, grab and go. There's that Kentucky Spirit single barrel. This is the Tyrone G. It's just another one to have to make sure we have them. It's one. Of, it's my favorite. It's it's really good. That's good why stuff. we have so many. Yep. This, uh, you guys, if you watched oh, our that's right. I our remember. our hunt video, that's how long it's been. Our hunt video, and uh, I don't remember the name of the store, East End Liquors, I think. Yeah. And uh, we just bought it because the woman told us it was really good. But after looking it up and finding it's two year, it says well, two year right there on the kosher. bottle. Yeah, it's a kosher. It's a bourbon rabbi. It's uh, it's made by American Bourbon Company, the same people that do Lusty Claw, which is disgusting. So if I'd have known that, we probably wouldn't have bought it. But they put the label on it sideways, so it made us like, oh, look, it's intriguing. And it was in a glass And case. it was only 55 bucks. Yeah, it was cheap. And the woman said like, it was good. I think she blew, I think she blew smoke up our ass, so we'll find out. She wanted to get rid of it. She but probably we haven't did. tried it, so we can't say anything. No, yet. we can't. All right, next, Old Blanton's. So I bought this sucker because um, we're going to give away, raffle off, one of the uh, the black or gold, and if whoever choose, wins the raffle chooses the black, then I'm going to lose my zero, my O. So I needed another O for my letters. I want the whole letters, but my enamoration, my love of Blanton's is pretty much gone. It's a cool bottle, cool top, cool story, whatever, but the juice? Eh. I think I told you that at the beginning. No, you didn't. I did. You did not. Okay. Next is... Old Forester's. Old Forester 100 proof. I got this because of the, uh, and you guys, please just, just let, let the comment go. What's the comment? I got this because of the rumor, the possibility, the non-denial by Old Forester that this could be a version of a blend of a part of the birthday bourbon. Is it birthday bourbon? Is it the stuff they put in the bottle? They just pour it in this bottle and pour it in that bottle. Is it the Coors Light of Keystone in the 90s? No, it's not but it has some properties of or something to do with. I don't understand it. I don't know. I just heard the rumor and Old Forester didn't deny it. And I liked it. Amy didn't. Still up in the air. Yep. So don't drag us all over YouTube over that it's birthday bourbon or not birthday bourbon. You can do whatever you want. It's whatever. All right. Next guy. Old Elmer. Elmer T. Lee. I got this one from North Shore um, and paid retail for it. We got two now. Yes. So uh, we need to open one. I'm just so scared to open it. Well, we got two now, so we can open one. Yeah. About time. People have been asking us to do a review of this sucker anyway. Next. So we got our Evan Williams 12 year. It is from Japan. It has a screw top. And I'm saying that because uh, Amy posted this on the, the X the other day, just saying, oh, look, at what do you guys think? And some guy's like, that's not from Japan. It has wax on it. And I'm like, why can't Japan have wax on it? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, well, they, he was saying that it, it doesn't have, like, Japan doesn't do wax. And it has a screw top. And I'm like, it does have, screw it does have a screw top. And there's literally Japanese writing on the back. So... Our friend Dave from House Bourbon brought us three bottles from Japan, and this was one of them. He but it's flew, gross. he flew over the ocean and brought this back from Japan. I don't know why people want to argue and say that's that's not from Japan. I'm like, <laughs> whatever what? you say. Okay. <laughs> Next, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is the C923, and this was also a gift from Dave. Uh, Elijah Craig, you can't go really wrong with it, I think. No, and it, this one is not from Japan. He just had one. He had two. And uh, when I say it was a gift, I got an A124 for him, and he traded this for that. People are going to say, why would you do that? I'm like, because a C923 is supposed to be the best there is. Well, you're right. The C923 is one of the best that Elijah Craig has made, but Dave is an awesome dude. And he wanted me to experience the C923, and he wanted an A124 just to try and see if it was good because that's what bourbon people do. And uh, he could have just paid me for the A124, what the retail cost was, but he wanted to trade because he wanted me to experience this. So Dave's a great guy, and that's why I have it because he wants to share bourbon shit. Good that's man. That's what it's about. Yes. 
I or guess just drinking. damn near every one of our videos for the past little bit has mentioned Dave for some reason because that's how much of a good dude he is about hanging out, hooking us up, taking care of us, going doing things. Loves them, I mean, I think I like him more than he likes me, but that's all right. All right. Um, Next. Your microphone stand getting used. So just grab that sucker. All right, so this is the Lux Row Four Grain Mash Bill. We got this one on our way back from Atlanta on one of Lexi's cheery trips, and uh, you, there's a video about that on up here. We'll tag it in there when we got it. It's a cool bottle. Yeah, I like it. It's our first Lux Row, actual Lux Row, because we have some Ezra Brooks and we have the Blood Oath. So um, I've never had just a Lux Row product, so I'm excited about opening that one. Didn't we go to their distillery? Nope, never yeah. been there. We've drove past it and said, "Hey, look, Lux Row." Oh, it's closed, right? No, we just didn't have time. We're doing so much other stuff. All, all right, next is Larceny. This is the F5 uh, B524. Uh, and this one's our giveaway for the live stream that we did on Friday night, three days ago. So um, it's, 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 it's going to be gone. Right now, it's here. Imagine. You haven't mailed it out. No. <laughs> all right. So Larceny Barrel Strength, this is a hard one to find sometimes, and uh, I thought this would be a good giveaway. I, you know, a lot of people love this, it's, uh, I've seen it upwards of $200 for secondary, so it's good. I think it's a good giveaway. Yeah, keep the chase after that. And it doesn't suck. All right, next, Evan Williams Single Barrel. Barreled on 118.15, so it's uh, a nine-year bourbon. It's a single barrel. I got it on our trip to uh, Louisville with Dave and James. And uh, a lot of people talk about how good this one is. So it's Evan Williams. So you never know. I Evan Williams is like hitting this. No, Amy has not had Evan Williams yet that she's liked. But I, I enjoy him. I don't think, I think for the price that you pay for Evan Williams, it's a good bottle. But she doesn't like it, which is fine. Don't have to like shit. All right. Weller, Special Reserve, Green Label. Good old Weller. Well, we're tatering it up today. It's, you know, people hate the Wellers and Buffalo Trace because of the, what they're so hard to get and the secondary market and all that shit. I paid retail for it. I get, and you know, we try to keep one on the shelf. So we have one now that's being drank. So I needed a backup and I like we may have another one on the floor as a backup. So it might give this one away. You never know. It could be a giveaway. Anybody wants to give this one away? Comment below. Should be give it away. I get it my antique 107. All right, next one. This one is a cool bottle. Too. Sagamore Spirit Double Oak Straight Rye Whiskey. So this one, I've always wanted a Sagamore, and I've heard a lot of great things about it. And they have a big line. They have a lot of different kinds and options and expressions. This is a rye, and it's double oak. So I can imagine this one's going to have a large variance in tasting because it's a rye, so it's going to be spicy. But it's double oak, so it could be sweet. This one I'm excited about. So we're going to try that one soon. Yeah. And I like the... The bottle. Yeah, it's embossed the on bottle. the side. And I like that it's a different shape. It won't fit in our um, round holes for whenever it's time to put it down. 96 proof. So I bet you that's a good one. Some people are saying, oh, 96 proof. It's not going to be good because it's weak. But I think with it being a rye... I'm going to enjoy it, I think. I could be wrong. I might hate it. It might suck. All right. So this is the first 2XO we've ever owned, but a few, like two weeks ago, Amy's birthday. We went to Kennedy, which we made a video, a short video about the Kennedy. I searched to find the love within. It's a really cool Knoxville bar in Knoxville. We had this there, and I was like, that is amazing. Remember, we really enjoyed I it. I loved it. So, and we've, I've been wanting to get a 2XO, and this is the American Oak Kentucky Straight Bourbon. I actually didn't know that you bought one. I got it yesterday. Oh, did you? I, I loved it. And, of course, I've already been drinking, so we'll have to try it when I'm not drinking, but I really like it. This is going to be a video right here. Yeah. Keep an eye out for it if you have any interest in the 2XO. And how much did you pay for that? 45 all right, next, 1792, age 12 years. Uh, I like all the 1792 we've had. Uh, it's Barton, which is owned by Sazerac. It's the same people who own Buffalo Trace. A lot of people say the Buffalo Trace and Barton, they like kind of go like intermingle their juices and you source one, you could get that. Barton does a lot of sourcing for other companies. I doubt Buffalo Trace actually sources any of it when they say it's Barton. Kirkland's. This Costco brand, which we can't get in Knoxville because they don't sell liquor in grocery stores in Knoxville. So the Kirkland's brand is all Barton, which is the same company as this. So a lot of the Bartons that you get from Kirkland's could be 1792. 
in the same juice. I don't know. No one knows which ones they use. It could just be very old Barton. But in the Kirkland bottle, I don't know. But 1792 H12 year is a good one. We have a lot of the other 1792. So we, uh, I know I want to do a 12 year video. And then we might need to do like a Barton or uh, 1792 lineup video because we have like four of them. Oh, we haven't done that a while. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done a year one or a lineup. Yeah. So we need to do a blind on those. All right, moving on. Running out of table space back here. Yeah. All right, let's. So, my favorite weeded bourbon there that is made. Oh, Antique yeah. Weller 107. I'm not giving this away. This is staying it. here. And I buy every red label I find that is available at retail. Because he doesn't let me drink it. Well, we have three bottles now. Oh. Or two. Three. No, we have three. So, we can definitely drink this sucker. Um, but, yeah. This is the best weeded bourbon on the market. I've tried a lot of weeded bourbons. I'm not a big weeded fan. So, everything that like Maker's Mark used to be a go-to, but I don't like it anymore because it's weeded. All of them are weeded. All the Wellers, this is the Special Reserve, the only ones I like, 12 years old, meh. foolproof, meh. But the, um, like the Larceny's weeded, meh. So this is it for me. If I'm drinking weeded, this is what I'm drinking. You guys all heard it here. So next one, this is the Small Batch Kernel. We got this one because the other one's on the um, put it down shelf. So it's time for another one. I've passed up many of these at retail because I like it. It's good, but uh, we don't drink them that fast. So I can pretty much pass two or three up and then get to another one because um, um, North Shore. So uh, I really appreciate those guys taking care of us. They're really good dudes. All right. You know, I know why we don't do this during the day. Them birds. No, because drinking during the day does not motivate me to do anything. You're right. That's why it's an end of the day practice because it just ends your day well. All right. Next up is <sighs> wild turkey. Wild turkey 12 year from Japan. And yes, it came from Japan. Got an awesome bottle box, little velvet lining, felt, felt probably. Uh, Love the 12 year, it's the same as the, the not felt. this inside of it. Hmm. Okay. So, the um, it's the same as this 101 proof, this is probably the same as the regular 101 you can get here. But this is purple instead of red, so that's a big deal. Not really, it's really good. The, the age difference makes a big difference. We made a video of Bruce re recently with comparing the two, so tag that up here. I enjoyed it a lot. This is going to be one of my favorites, and once it's gone, I'm gonna have to go back to Japan to get another or pay secondary for it. Oh, we get to go to Japan. I mean, yeah, but there's other places I think I'd rather go first, like Iceland. I want to go to Iceland. Alaska. Alaska would be good, too. All right, All right. moving on. Next and last. Oh, My wait. My favorite. Thank you, Dave. From Japan also is rare breed. a wild turkey rare breed. Now, again, thank you, Dave. And it's a big sucker. For giving this to Amy for her 29th birthday. We really appreciate it. And... Amy bring, makes up a good point. Look at the size difference. Like, isn't that awesome? 750, one liter. From Japan, Japanese writing. And the big difference, now this is the rare breed rice, so this is rare breed bourbon. The big difference between, just pretend this is a bourbon, which we have inside, but I'm not going to go and get it. The big difference between this and that is this is non-chill filtered. Mm -hmm. So that for bourbon uh, enthusiasts, that's a big deal. It's so good. It makes it, it makes it to me a little bit spicier and uh, aggressive. So for me personally, it's a little much. I prefer the regular rare breed, but all the other Dave from House Bourbon and James from that was over here the other night uh, at uh, Roy's Rick House on the TikToks, they prefer this. So and good for them, but I don't. She does. She likes it. I don't know. We need to do a comparison with this and regular rare breed and see like right side by side a blind taste yeah so yep anyway so good thank you again dave and it came in a box yeah i love it dave i won't throw this box away i'll let you have it because i know you like the boxes why does he like the boxes i don't know he just like he just keeps them that's what we've got for the past i'd say three months what we've put down obviously our, our drinking has slowed down slowed down a little it gets bit busy around this time yeah and we've actually gone and did a little drinking at other people's places, so we don't drink our stuff as much. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, any of you guys who are members, you can come help us drink this stuff and finish it out. If you're a special reserve member or higher, you can come join us on the deck and help us drink these bottles. Make a video with us and have a good time. We've done it once with Brent Butcher, who joined us on the deck, and he we uh, we did a special bottle with him. We did the Master's Keep Voyage, so he got to enjoy that, and we had a good time with Jacob him. Jacob and Dave. Well, Dave just comes over because Dave's. But he's a member. He is. 
but he just comes over because he's a YouTuber and a friend of ours. Well, I know, but I was just saying people yeah. who came. So yeah, Jacob's come by. We should have done a video because he said he was in a hurry, but we stood in the living room and talked for two hours, so we should have made a dang video anyway. But make that up next time you're in town, Jacob. And then we got a member coming soon, uh, Jonathan. Now this isn't a member video, but this is for everybody. We got a member coming in the next two weeks who's going to join us and have a good time. We're going to go out and then and, and make a video here. So anybody wants that opportunity, just hit that join button right down here. If it's not a button, if you're on your phone, there's probably not a join button, but the first first link in the description that you can join there and become a member and uh, get all the extra stuff that you get from being a member and the opportunity to come hang out on the deck in our live stream that we just did on Friday. If you're a member, you get to uh, we have all of our giveaways, you get automatic entries, uh, extra entries for being a member. So you get a, most of, a lot of our uh, um, giveaways go to members because they get so many entries for just being a member. So if you want a good chance of winning that, become a member, or just show up and you get a chance anyway for just being there. All righty. So it is work time, Homer. Time to go get work done. So we're going we're gonna to get on out of here, but make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share, and um, Ring the bell. like. Like, comment, share, hit the bell, subscribe. So do all those five things. Please comment. Love the interaction. We try to answer as many uh, comments as we can. We, I think we do a pretty good job at that. Um, Join us at the X, Instagram, TikTok. That's it. And then uh, become a member. So hope you guys uh, liked all the shit we got. And we'll see you on the next vid. See you guys next time, not right. during the day. Hopefully not during the day. We're out. Keeps it. Oh.